artists set up shop on James Street for a weekend showcasing their work. Some vendors have been here for years, others are newcomers. It's my first show uh, at the Super Crawl and uh, it's been really, really good and uh, I'll definitely be back next year for sure. I've been here every year since it started. This is the ninth year. I've done uh, Needlings, my business, for 10 years. I think it's my fifth or sixth year actually being a vendor at Super Crawl. Um, I've been participating since about the second and third. This is my second time at Super Crawl. I did it in 2015 and then again in, um, whoops, no. <laughs> No matter how long they've been here, most artists love to talk about their work. Uh, I make stained glass and photo light boxes. So these are all um, repurposed antique drawers and crates, and they've got lighting inside. So I usually describe my style as very illustrative, uh, it's heavily influenced by cartoons, pop culture, graffiti, tattoo, a lot of uh, kind of gestural stuff. And most of these artists have picked up a few good stories along the way. One painting that I will never sell is uh, my Bear Stewart, who is um, one of the original ones that happened to fall within this style that I've maintained. Um, he's kind of one that's near and dear to my heart, and I won't ever sell him. Our grandson put his shoes inside of my sandals, and I walked around the corner and saw it, and I thought, wow, that's, that says something. So there's a bit of emotion attached to that one, you know, and my wife would use a word that I never used, it's cute. But uh, I guess it is kind of. Super Crawl may be coming to an end, but luckily most of these vendors are based out of the Hamilton area. Reporting for Mohawk College Journalism, I'm Brianna Taylor.